Now I'm gonna make our tomato tornado. Bring it on, Storm! What up, what up, I'm Chad Wildclay, and you guys recently watched my Marvel weapons video and my Avengers weapon video, and a ton of you were commenting, X-Men weapons, Chad, do X-Men weapons. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna buy five X-Men weapons and test them out in real life. Here we go. And the first X-Men team member we are looking at is Wolverine. You guys already know that Wolverine has three blades that come out of each fist. Those blades are made out of adamantium, a very dense iron-based alloy that is virtually indestructible. A pure blade of adamantium is capable of cutting through almost any substance, with exception of adamantium itself and Captain America's shield. All right, well, let's jump online and see if we can find some Wolverine claws. Oh, okay, this looks like exactly it. X-Men Claw Dagger, 11 inches. Interesting they call them X-Men Daggers instead of like Wolverine Claws. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? And these are made out of stainless steel. They're not made out of adamantium, so they're not gonna cut through everything, but I think they're gonna do a good job of cutting through a lot of stuff. So let's order them and test them out. Dun, dun, dun. And Wolverine's Daggers have arrived. Let's open these up. Ooh, those look just like Wolverine's claws, actually. Wow, yeah, these are like stainless steel. I'm assuming you put your two mi middle fingers through there. A little bit concerned about slicing things like this, because as you can probably see, this is gonna go up here like this and dig into my knuckles. That's probably gonna hurt. Ouch, actually it hurts right now when I jab it up like this into my hand. <laughs> that would have been a better design to not include that. All right, so now I've got both claws out here. Here's what they look like. They certainly are cool looking and I like how long they are too. Yeah! It's not sharp so it's got a fairly rounded edge here. I can just easily, I mean it's a tiny bit sharp but this part right here not sharp at all. So this will cut through some bananas, some tomatoes, some water balloons. What I'm also gonna take a look at, since these are not sharp, I'm gonna check out these other claws from Karate Mart, the Combat X Claw. So it's essentially the same price as the other claws, except for these ones are black and these ones are actually sharp. I already own these because I used them in another video a long time ago, so let me go grab those. And here we have the Combat X Claws. They come in a nice carrying case. You put your two middle fingers fingers through here. Now, the way these are designed is very smart because as you slice into things, if it goes back, it doesn't jam into your hands. They're extremely sharp at the tips and at the edges here, and there's a rigid edge here as well. So here's the Combat X-Claw. Here's the unsharpened butter knives <laughs> that I got from Amazon. We'll use both these and test them out, huh? At first, I need to become Wolverine, so I'm gonna jump online and go to my favorite costume place, which is HalloweenCostumes.com. I'm gonna get this adult deluxe Wolverine costume for $49.99. That guy looks just like the Wolverine I remember from the comic books and from the cartoon I used to watch when I was a little kid. So let's add this Wolverine costume to cart and order it here super fast. Here we go. And the Wolverine costume has arrived. It comes with the whole jumpsuit and the mask. And I already got my own claws, so I won't be needing those. Well, why don't I just open this up and become Wolverine in about one second. My friends call me Logan, but you can call me Wolverine. So let's go outside, chop some stuff up, and have some fun. Here we go. What is up? I am Wolverine. I've got my buddy Justin behind the camera. Ow! Yeah, boy. Oh. I don't want to oh. fist. I don't want to fist bump you with these. They certainly look cool. They look like they're coming out of your hands, but they're not very comfortable and they're not gonna be good for slicing up fruit and stuff. Mm. I've got some other claws that I got that are gonna really work better for slicing stuff up. Let's go grab those. Now I've got the Combat X Claws. Ooh. So now these ones are actually sharp, unlike right. the other ones, and they aren't gonna be digging into my fist, as you can see. Let's do that, woo! Sayonara, soda, ninja. You mess with the Wolverine, and you get three claws to the side of the head.
I just got three little pokes on that first swing and it just went crazy. We're gonna go clean off and go back inside and get another weapon. And the next X-Men character we are looking at is Warpath. His twin blades are forged in Wakanda using the native Vibranium. The knives were given to him as a gift by Storm. The blades are said to be perfectly balanced. All right, well, let's jump online and see if we can find Vibranium blades. Stainless steel butterfly sword. These gleaming stainless steel monsters are perfect for bigger fighters who need swords to match their arms. Hey, that sounds exactly like me. I'm huge and I have huge biceps. Let's go ahead and order them. And Warpath's twin blades have arrived. A special gift to us from Storm. Wow, when they said to match your big muscular arms, they meant it. It's got like a mirror finish. Let me check my hair. V's gonna like these. Really nice leather handles. It's actually pretty soft. It has this hand guard right here, so if another sword is coming at me, it won't hit my hand. There's also this guard here as well, so if I could catch it, kind of like a sigh. They're not sharp, so these swords are perfect for practicing your forms, and they'll be perfect for chopping up some flying fruit. So let's meet Storm and thank her for giving us these. In fact, why don't we jump online and get Storm her outfit, X-Men Adult Storm costume. Now we need to get V a wig as well because she needs that silver hair, so we're gonna get her this this silver superhero wig. Let's order these and see how they look. And look what came in the mail today. The Storm Jumpsuit Superhero Costume and the Superhero Silver Wig. Let's take these outside and see how V looks as Storm. Here we go. Move over, Halle Berry. Make way for V Quaint. You know, I'm actually looking for Warpath. Where is he? I have Warpath. a gift for him. Really? Um, I haven't seen Warpath, but he told me to accept these on his behalf. Fat like, blades. Yeah, these are awesome. They're like mirrors, too. Were you fixing your hair? I was checking my hair, actually. Uh, when I was inside, I said, I bet you V's going to love this. She'll be checking her hair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little windy. My hair is all over the place, you know? You can control that, though, because you're Storm, so stop the wind. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's see some karate. All right, Storm, watch out, because I'm going to get crazy. Uh-oh, there's another storm coming. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A storm of karate. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remembered that these can be used as punching weapons. Ooh. Gonna do. Um, you just keep facing this way, I'll go behind you, and it'll be a surprise. We'll see what happens, huh? Oh no, I don't like the way that sounds. <laughs> I'll never forget this day. There's one slice and then slice number two right there. He's still laughing, so oh, I think I think we have another X-Men who's gonna finish this guy off. All right. Let's go get him. Oh, hey, it's you, and I forgot to thank you for giving this video a thumbs up underneath this video. I really appreciate you doing that. And the next X-Men character we are checking out is Gambit. He is incredibly knowledgeable and skilled in the art of card throwing, as well as the use of a bow staff, which you guys have previously seen in my last Marvel video. But Gambit is known to charge playing cards with his kinetic energy and then use them as explosive projectiles. It's gonna be pretty hard to find exploding cards, but 
I think we can find some pretty cool playing cards that can be used as weapons. The Royal Flush throwing cards. You have come here because like us, you are inspired by X-Men's Gambit, the mutant whose power to charge inanimate objects with explosive power leads him to throwing playing cards around like they're grenades. But we all know the only real world way to turn playing cards into throwing weapons is to make them out of stainless steel and give them razor sharp edges. These guys get it, don't they? Good job, Karate Mart. Here we go. Oh, what luck, I got a royal flush. The royal flush throwing cards have arrived with razor sharp piercing points. It comes with a nice nylon carrying case. And of course it comes with a belt strap. Button on the top there, button on the inside. Oh, and look at this, five cards. Each one comes wrapped in an individual piece of plastic. That is sharp. This is a really cool design. I like how it's white. It looks just like a playing card, but then it has awesome silver edges here. And then it's white on the back. Good weight to them too. Very nice. Uh, you pretty much instantly win any hand if you, if you get this. And I think you'd win pretty much any fight if you had these with you, because all you need to do is go so let's go outside and make some things blow up. Here we go. Hey, uh, Storm, guess whose weapon I've got right here? Ooh, Gambit. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and pull one of these cards out here. Look at the Ace of Hearts. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Nice and sharp. So these are going to throw, just like Ninja Stars, up some emoji water balloons. What do oh, you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And win some money at the casino. All right. <laughs> two, we'll eat. two birds with one stone. That's right. Let's go do that right now. <laughs> More like two birds with one storm. Ew. Ooh. <laughs> Got a mixed bag of emotions over here. This one right here, he's really scared. He's saying, oh no, I don't know what's gonna happen to me now. And this guy says, eh, I don't really care what happens now. I'm just thinking this is all kind of amusing. And this guy, he's just asleep. What do we got? Oh, well, I just won at the casino. Ooh. So now I'm going to be winning against the emoji water balloons. Jackpot. Woo, here we go. Tough emoji. Yeah, let's get him again. Jack of Hearts is gonna take him out. All right, get him, Jack. Jack of Hearts. survived for another day. <laughs> but we've got another X-Men who's gonna take out that other emoji. Uh, Let's go inside and get him. Thank you again for turning on that bell symbol down below because that allows you to get here quick every time I upload and I hang out with you guys in the comment section below for at least 30 minutes of every upload. And I take your comments and show them at the bottom of the screen at the end of this video. So thank you for leaving your awesome comments and turning that bell on. And when you turn that bell on, make sure it has the ringing symbols. The next character we are checking out from X-Men is Colossus. He is able to transform himself into a metallic steel-like form, making him the physically strongest of the team. He possesses superhuman levels of strength as well as superhuman stamina. Wait a second, how am I gonna change my body into steel? I got an idea. Metal, armor, hand, gloves pair with inviting decor appeal. Oh yes, they're inviting me to say, I'm gonna put these on and punch some things with some metal fists. So let's order them right now. Hey, Colossus, did you ship some of your body parts to me here? Let's see what you sent us here. Colossus sent us his hands. 
Ooh, these things smell like oil. I guess they're lubed up, ready to go. Oh yeah, these things are kind of greasy. I suppose that helps protect them from rusting. All right, let's try these on. Hey, it's a very high quality glove, that's for sure. Very thick, that's not gonna tear. Ooh, this is cool. Each finger has three sections, plus a fourth section as your knuckle here, and they bend as you bend your fingers. The thumb has two sections here. It's pretty heavy. I'd say it's about maybe one pound, half a pound to a pound. Am I gonna hurt myself if I punch something with this? I don't think so because this section comes out pretty far, maybe an inch past my knuckles. So if I punch something, I'm not even hitting my knuckles. So that's cool. There we go. Now I've got two Colossus hands. I'm feeling pretty powerful in these. I'm feeling like I can pretty much punch anything I want and destroy it. So I'm not gonna punch you guys though because you guys are cool. Let's go outside and punch some fruit ninjas. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, careful there, Storm. Whoa. We got Colossus's power here. I, Wolverine, have been blessed with Colossus's power of transforming my body That's into metal. That's really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Can you shake your hand? Yes. Crunch. Oh. So Colossus is one of the strongest X-Men characters. So I thought, let's do something fun and do some punching Ooh. with some metal fists. That might be cool. You've wow, never that's... punched fruit before, have you? I never have. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. Woo. Really cool. We got something new today. Woo. All right. Don't punch me. Uh-oh, here comes. I've got Colossus fists. Storm is gonna be throwing a storm of fruit inches at me. Oh, there's a storm of bananas <laughs> coming at you. Oh, she maybe, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, we'll see. She tried showing yeah. off by throwing a single banana up into the air and catching it. Try to get Storm. Hey, oh, yeah. Uh, a storm is coming. Oh, no, a storm of bananas. out storm with a flying banana punch. That'll God. learn you. Now I'm gonna make our tomato tornado. All right, storm, do it. Bring it on, storm. Better than having me fall in there, right? Oh, yeah. We don't want that again. It's close. Hey, you can use it as a safety device. Yeah, if you're drowning, just hold on to a tomato. Yeah, throw her in there. And then yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, just, just, just right in. It's not a very good hack. Oh, no, it's not no, a good hack no. at all. All right, now since Storm's superpower is not throwing emoji water balloons, we got Justin, who's going to be throwing Woo. the emoji. You ready, Justin? Yeah, I think I can do this. Who do you think's going to win, the emoji or me? This guy looks a little cocky. He seems to be pretty confident. He's pretty he, confident. He's a survivor, man. Uh oh, not for long. Not for long. Bring it on, yep. Justin! Justin, emoji water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and 
the next X-Men we are checking out is Nightcrawler. His mutant power is teleportation, but he is also a very skilled swordsman. He is often seen using a saber or a cutlass sword. He can even control the sword with his tail. All right, I know exactly where to go to find this type of sword. Here we go. Karate Mart has the Navy Cutlass Sword for $64.95. Sailors would wield this trusty 31.5 inch sword as they boarded enemy ships or stormed shores of enemy lands. Very cool. Well, let's definitely order this thing so we can go storm the shores of some enemy lands known as Fruit Ninja Land. And uh, enough of that. Let's just buy it. Okay, here we go. And Nightcrawler's Cutlass has arrived. Check out how huge this sword is. It's a beauty. This is a nice weapon. Got a very nice metal tip on the scabbard here. Very hard scabbard to protect the blade. Comes down here, we have some more metal. I love the way this handle and handguard look. And this is such a smart design because you put your hand in here and it protects your hand from other swords coming in. I don't know why more swords don't use this idea to protect the person's hand. So let's check this blade out. Very nice, very shiny. It's got a very slight curve to it. It comes to a quite sharp point here. The rest of the blade itself is not that sharp, so it's gonna be great for a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of that. <laughs> Yeah, so this sword is perfect if you're gonna be doing like Civil War reenactments or if you're cosplaying as like a, a naval person or something like that, or just if you're gonna be storming other people's ships, you're gonna wanna use this thing. That's what you're gonna wanna do. And uh, this is also what Nightcrawler uses. So we are gonna take it outside and see how we can do against some fruit ninjas as Nightcrawler. Here we go. Storm coming, and oh. I want to fight someone. Oh no! How about Colossus? Oh. Ooh! Bring it get on. him! Get him, Storm! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Get him! Spin! Kick! Drop! Ah. Jump! Ah. Flip! Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's oh my gosh! My my cape fell off. Uh oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wardrobe malfunction. Uh -oh. That's the perfect time to be like crack. And the next weapon is, I'm gonna give you guys a hint of whose weapon I stole here. Mm. I took it from a guy who's blue. Blue. Oh, beast? I was Close. gonna say beast as well. But he has a tail and he can teleport. It is Nightcrawler! Nightcrawler, he can teleport. And, but he also uses a cutlass sword. Yeah. Did you say cutlass? Like, Cut, a, like cutlass. a sword that doesn't cut? What good is oh. that? Yeah. Well, to be honest, this blade is actually not sharp. It does have a sharp point, but um, so it's more of a, just for cool cosplay uh, and other fun stuff. So you're not gonna really get hurt too much with this. It's sort of cutlass. Oh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. a little bit, but it's so cool. this is like a shield, huh? Yeah, isn't that smart? Yeah. I like keeping my fingers when I'm in a sword fight. That's just me though. Exactly. Personal yeah. preference. Yeah, 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 personal, yeah. Everyone's got their own thing, you Everybody's know. Everyone's got their thing. Some people like fingers, other people are like, meh, they can yeah, I don't need, I only need one finger, you yeah. know? And you know which one I'm gonna give you, Justin? Oh! oh! I'm dangerous with anything. Yeah. <laughs> Even with just the sheath. So before we put it away here, well, let's put it away. Okay, fine. Uh, but then we're then we're gonna take it right back off and then go chop up some fruit ninjas. This man made an unsavory remark about my eyebrows. Now we're gonna have a duel. Well, I'm gonna give you a little eyebrow trim here. Oh no. There we go. And then I'm gonna give you a little impale through the back. <gasps> I think you'll really enjoy it, though. You, you were asking for a back rub earlier, so uh, yes. I think this will help. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I got something for you. Just don't turn around. going through his mouth, but I didn't quite have the right aim. <laughs> He's still smiling, guys. He's still good. All right. 
And a shout out to you awesome people who are part of the notification squad. I'm showing some of your comments from last video right down here. Thanks for getting here early and leaving those hilarious comments. If you guys want to get any of the weapons or any of the costumes that you're seeing in today's video, I put links to them down below. Shout out to KarateMart.com. They're giving you guys a 10% off code. Type in Wild Clay and get 10% off your order. And shout out to HalloweenCostumes.com who also are giving you guys 10% off anything you order. Link to them down below as well. If you guys haven't seen this video, check it out. If you guys are not subscribed to me, you can do that right there. And there's V, you should subscribe to her because she makes awesome videos over on her channel. Check this one out. Hey, I just made an X. I guess this is really an X-Men video, isn't it? I'll see you guys real soon with a brand new video. Yeah. <laughs>